to the medical assisting lab. So we'll start by looking at what a typical room would look like and what would actually be doing in the medical assisting lab. So as you can clearly see, in the medical assisting lab, you definitely do have the setup of the bed. And one thing you will be doing is setting up the room for a patient. We do have the EKG machine. And of course, as one of the key things we do is vital signs. So you do have your height and weight scale. You do have the blood pressure. You have the temperature, the otoscope, and ophthalmoscope. So these are the basic things you would be learning in lab. So one of the things you'll be learning in the lab is also how to measure and weigh a baby. So we also learn in class how to measure the length of the baby, and we also do the circumference of the head. And also it's in very important because you will work in a doctor's office where you can also put the baby on the scale and weigh them. So the other thing would also be performing in class, so you'd be learning in the lab, is actually how to draw blood. We do have our practice arm, where students have an opportunity to practice on the arm before they can actually perform it on themselves. So here is a setup of a tray that would actually use for phlebotomy. So here is how I would actually wrap a suture kit. And this is how it would look like once we put it into the autoclave. If you want more information about the medical assisting program, you can visit our website and I'm looking forward to seeing you in class at the Marietta campus. Mm -hmm.